Lebanese Ether Freestyle Drive Season 3, Episode 9. Got a legendary MC with me today, Rock. What's going on, my man, Rock? From Hip Hop Group, Helter Skelter, Boot Camp Click, all legendary New York uh -huh. hip hop. Uh -huh. So happy to have you in the car with me today. Appreciate it, man. Nice. I like this shit. Alright, yeah. just picked you up from your hood in Brownsville. Yeah, man, Sackman Street. I thought you was going to catch all of some, some Sackman Street, but you know, it's all good. That, that no, ain't for, I made the turn. Anyway. That ain't for them anyway. I understand. No, anyway. I was trying to catch some of it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm you know, just trying to get my direction because I'm doing a special good. episode today. I'm taking you to the city to meet my man who's a pastry chef and all that. So we'll get into that later, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Get into what like, a pastry chef. A pastry chef, exactly. It's, it's, it's like, like, what's that got to do with hip hop, right? Listen, listen, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I mean, look, look, look. What a lot of people don't know is, long, like, like, one of my secret, you know, in 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 house AKAs is JFK, stand for Junk Food King. Junk Food King, you know <laughs> Junk Food King. Right? Junk food king. Like, we will be on the road, like we will be overseas and shit. And it, you know, we all got multiple jobs besides rapping. Mm -hmm. You know, when you blue collar, when you doing this blue collar hip hop shit, you know, you ain't got a whole. We, we, you ain't on no prima donna shit with a whole bunch of servants understood, serving. You. Understood. I mean, you got a certain, but we yeah, still yeah. all multitasking. Gotcha. One of my unspoken jobs was food, was, was snack mm -hmm. coordinator. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, like <laughs> niggas could be sleep. Like, like I don't, be, I don't be sleep on the bus or or, or the fucking the, in the van. We in Russia somewhere, not Russia. I never been to Russia. Okay, but, but in Germany, Germany, yeah, you're on tour. You're right? on tour in Europe, yeah. And niggas will wake me up to come inside the school, to come inside the yeah. store to help them pick out decent snacks because oh you can't, because we, we can't read the language. There's random stuff out there. You can't read you them. You can't so you read the language. But so. you know the good stuff. Is that what you say? I'm the fucking <laughs> snack coordinator, That's nigga. That's crazy. You understand what I'm saying? And and I, I I could be at my tenth dream. Like it don't even like like I appreciate the fact that my brothers respected my expertise enough to hold me to my job. Understood. All right. You know what I'm saying? So like so I mean what what are some of the classes? and even what are, oh, hold on, and okay. even before that like long before I was a rock miss monster I was mm. the cookie monster. Are you serious? Like, like that's that, what you like, like that was my first nickname as a kid. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh so it kind of fits then you switch it to rock miss monster. I mean, I mean, you kept the monster but I you, mean look <laughs> like 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 if the monster the, the, the monster shit happened so many years after like you know I was already running these streets there wasn't nobody nobody on the streets knew that I was a cookie. Like that. That, that, was just, that was just that was a family. That was, that was yeah. family aunts yeah, yeah, and moms exactly, and shit like exactly. that. I know, I know. You know what I'm saying? But, but I'm saying, but full circle, it kind of came, 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 yeah, came back. Yeah, poetic yeah. justice. Because I still fuck some cookies up. So I mean, you, did you grow up in Brownsville? Is that yes, you, I did. How was it like growing up in Brownsville as a you know young I mean, cat? It was, it was, cookies it was, and everything. It was a it was a it was a, it was a fun ride. You okay. understand what I'm saying? It was you know a lot of things happened. Some good you know some good things and some bad things like. You know, I, I, um, like, I didn't have it that bad, but I damn sure ain't have it good. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you know, I always had a roof over my head. I always had, you know, food and clothes, but, you know, my clothes wasn't never fly. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, my cereal wasn't never sweet. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was always or the, the brand name or nothing like that. Is that what you're saying? The good <laughs> shit, me. You know what I'm saying? I had what I needed. None of what I had, all of what I needed, and none of what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? You got the sustenance, to, you know, yeah, you survive know, three and everything. Three hots in a cot, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, drill sergeant shit in my crib, like. But um, outside my crib, you know, it was, you know, it, it was crazy, and and I think my mom's. You know, a lot of people looked at my, you know, I always grew up thinking my mom was the meanest lady in the world, and, and she's still mean to this day. She's she mean as fuck, but that's beside the point. What I didn't realize till I was older is my mom, she had to be afraid. Like, that had to be a big part of her drill sergeantry. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a pay for her kids, you mean? Yeah, like, because like, we was in Brownsville, and mm -hmm. Brownsville was fucking crazy, B. Like, 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 it was like, uh, uh, it's uh, you. You could have heard all kinds of. I know you probably heard stories about the Tomahawks and 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 all of these other gangs and shit that was out there before Decepts and Low Lives okay, and okay. Before, and you know of, of course way before the Bloods and the Crips was out there. Just when you was younger, you saying? Yeah, when I was young, was right? But 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 I was, it's, it was a gang out there that nobody that, that that don't get it. Nobody ever talks about. And it was a gang called the MLC. And these niggas terrorized the Av. 
And they was all they was they was all Latin. Mm -hmm. Basically, mm -hmm. I think they was all Puerto Ricans. Well, I didn't Bushwick know. Ave or which Ave did they? No, Mother Gaston, Stone Ave. Okay, Stone Ave. You know Ave. what I'm saying? Like, like that was they fucking Ave. Like some like, like, like out some warrior shit. Like this shit was <laughs> crazy, son. Like, like because if you notice, like all of the bodegas, you know, mm -hmm. back before mm -hmm. all of the bodegas had, you know, like Arab, the Middle Eastern, and you yeah, know what I'm saying, Southeast, shit like that. that yeah. It was all Latins in the bodegas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. It was like all the bodegas was, was on the Ave and the mm -hmm. niggas had that whole Ave. And I mean, like they had gang members of every fucking, like I was six years old by the time I was aware of these mm -hmm. niggas, fully aware of they them. Had, they had like an outfit too? Like no, gear that no, they, not they really. Okay. No, not really. These niggas was called the MLC, right? Stood for Music Love and Crew. Fez never knew what hit got there. You could have never seen these niggas That's coming. I mean, they used to break dance and shit like that. But this shit, these niggas was crazy. So they right. was, uh, why didn't they name themselves something musical if they was involved in some, was that like a front kind of? I mean, like, no, I'm just because, they, because hip hop was alive mm. and, and popping back then too. Yeah, so they was in both, they was into, they were into both. They was into, they was into both. I don't okay. know why they, I mean like, they, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know why they called themselves the music loving. Like, were they trying to pursue music? Were I don't, trying, I know? don't know. I don't think so. They okay. just like breakdancing gotcha. and shit. But, 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 it was dope. Breakdancing yeah, was dope. Yeah, it was dope. <laughs> but but them niggas yeah. was a menace to the ass. Yeah. Like most, like I had a homeboy that was down with them. Dude, his name was Mike. Right? Me and Mike used to steal out of stores together. I'm six years old. We used to go like these niggas was bad. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> You were stealing out of their stores, basically, or the stores that they ran, or I mean, whatever. No, they, I don't. I didn't even. I didn't even it? just bodegas. Okay, I didn't bodegas, know. Yeah. I didn't know. I wasn't. I didn't understand who ran nothing. I didn't even. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know that niggas was selling drugs or. And I didn't even. Yeah, I, yeah, you yeah, know, I was so young. I didn't get all yeah, of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, and 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 even as I started to grow older, for some reason, I didn't pick up on that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't be able to go on a block and just, and see. That this is a crack block, cause my mind, cause I was always looking inward in my mind. Okay. I was old, cause by the time I was 11 years old, I was already thinking of raps. I was, you know, what I'm saying. So by the That's time. That's what I wanted to get into. So, so you started thinking about um, hip hop at a young age. Yeah, like I wrote my first rap. I was 11 years old. By the time crack hit, I was like 14, 15. Mm. And by that time, I was already trying to be nice. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. At the yeah, rap shit. So, yeah, yeah. like so, the bars you mean. Like, yeah. It wasn't like about the gangster shit necessarily. It was about Nah, it wasn't it was about, about rhymes and lyrics yet. and yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was trying I was trying to be nice. But meanwhile in my life I was already doing gangster shit. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't fucking with drugs. You know what I'm saying? I didn't pick that up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was I was I was developing how you say like aggressive behavior and shit. You know, I was aggressive young teenager and shit, you know what I'm saying, getting into shit. You know, so I, you got involved in some of the gangs later on yourself. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, like I, I mean, but like I used to, I used to, you know, we used to do robberies and shit like that. Like I said, I was stealing out of stores when I was six years old okay. with the with the MLC youngins. Okay. With, with, yeah, with little Mike from I the, got from you, the I MLC. Got you. So, so you were, so that's what she was. So you was rocking with the MLC at that young age. I mean, you just didn't know I, it was official. Official, I mean, but was, I knew him. Yeah, you knew I was him, still you know. terrified. So of the Mike niggas, was, though. Mike was with. MLC. Yeah. Got understood. He, he okay. was a little nigga that was down. See, but I, was, I was fucking up the profits of all the bodegas in yeah. the neighborhood, right? <laughs> With the snacks and shit. So, or, I mean, so but, but yeah, but I was still terrified of these niggas. Like by the time, and this is, I'm six years old, me and Mike was friends. And so, you know, by the time I was like 11, 12, 13, like them niggas was a problem that I had to consider. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think Mike and maybe two other niggas was the only two niggas that was my age when I was young and Mike was my friend so I was good but by the time I was like 11 12 13 nah and I was big so you couldn't tell I was young okay. so any 17 year old nigga might want to might might want to rock it off with sign, me. Yeah. you know what I'm saying so you was involved in a lot of fights at that yes. time okay yes. okay yeah, but I was terrified of them niggas though. Like I didn't, I had with with them niggas to be to, to be honest. Like all I ever had was like real, like what was was like a couple of standoffs. I never had an actual fight with one of those. Was niggas. you was you part of an official crew at that time? Nah, you were speaking with MLC, just my, some solos. Nah, it was just me and my okay, homeboys. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And you know, but but you know, in this day and age, like those is our homeboys. I mean, who, who's ever left? You know what I'm saying? Cause you know the the end results of long of long time gang gang activity and shit. You know what I'm saying? But the ones that's left, they cool as fuck. Shout out to my man Lelo. You know what I'm saying? Lelo was one of the wildest ones. B. 
And he was your boy at the time. This was your rivalry at the no, time. This is was, rivalry. It wasn't a rivalry. Okay. It's just these niggas was the gang and we wasn't. I just got you. you understand okay, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Shit was crazy. So, they didn't really had no rivals. I knew about. It. They just had conquests. Mm. They just you know conquered. They just controlled. They just yeah, whatever. They just, yeah. yeah, the shit was dead, B. That's dope. That's crazy, man. That's, I'm, I love hearing them New York stories. That you know? shit was crazy. Like, like to keep it a hundred. When you hear boot camp niggas scream, hey, ho, that like that that was they shit. Shit, all right. That was they shit. That was a call or whatever. That, that was, was like, their <laughs> shit. <laughs> what did that mean? Did that mean that somebody was call? Fucked? That it was like the... everybody get together with the fuck somebody. Whatever, not not well, even okay. for anything. They call you out the window. Hey, all right. Yeah, yeah. That was they shit. That was a call. But yeah. it's it's like when we put when like like when we came when we started rapping, we built a lot of bridges. You know what I'm saying? Like. But we were hometown heroes, you know what I'm saying? How did so, that? I mean, how did that? How did that happen? Because I mean, when we, we started, ahead, so like, when we started rapping professionally, yeah. like, like it's like we had the support of like whatever MLC niggas was was left over. Like we grew, you know what I'm saying? We grew through all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? We had the support of them. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it was a time before when when my building, the building, my building, and my it's only four buildings in my project. Okay. And my building was separate because. The, the other three are on the same block, mm -hmm. and mine is you have to cross the street mm -hmm. and get mm -hmm. niggas. It was it was wild segregation. Niggas used to treat us like dirt in my, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That changed with me and Steel. So the other three buildings against the one building yeah. you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that changed yeah. when me and Steel united. Mm -hmm. Where was Steel? He was across the street in one of those other three buildings. buildings. Got you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you, how long you've known Steel? How did that? Yeah, was he younger, a young age? Yeah, we, how? Was, we was about 14. Okay. I was 14. He was 15. So he was rapping at the time. Cause you started mm -hmm. at 11. Yeah. So let's so go back he. to 11 years old. What mm -hmm. was your name at the time? What was your What was your hip hop name? Did you have a? Was you going by a name at the time? My first hip hop. <laughs> my first rap name was Doctor Ace. Doctor Ace. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was modeling my uh, my favorite rapper at the time was Doctor Ice from UTFO. Mm. UTFO is what made me, UTFO and my man Ran is what made me write my first rap. Wow. I think UTFO is what made me first like hip hop. Because yeah. I wasn't really into it before UTFO and Fat Boys. Whoever came first mm -hmm. or second, mm -hmm. that was when I got into hip hop. That was the first you, influences, the early influences, you saying? The when first, the, that's what made me love it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What made me start liking it. And my favorite rapper at the time, like, because I used to beatbox, you understand what I'm saying? Like, what before, you do, was you beatboxing before writing lines? Yeah, like, yeah, you understand what I'm saying? But, like, um, my man Randy wrote a rap, you know what I'm saying? And he wrote a rap, I was like, if he wrote a rap, I know I could write a rap. And it was that simple. I went yeah. home and I wrote a rap. So he was like your homeboy, your homeboy. Yeah, he, he was, was my he, homeboy. And he was riding rounds. So I was like, I could do this shit. Yeah, like he just surprised me one <laughs> was day. He I, was he I? And he was like, nah, you, you, you know. His rap was good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The nigga, um, <laughs> nigga came to school one day with a rap. I was like, bro, this nigga wrote a rap. I know I could do that. You know what I'm saying? So I did. I wrote one. Do you remember what your first rhymes were? It was about <laughs> saying no to drugs. I don't remember the bars. Okay, nice, nice. So was that was that Reagan era shit? <laughs> <laughs> Say no to drugs, rap. That's, I mean, that's, but you, don't, you, don't, you don't remember the lines I don't remember though. Remember none of that shit. <laughs> so when did you start taking it seriously? Okay, eleven years old when you really started. You know, I wrote my first rhyme when I was eleven. I wrote my second rhyme when I was twelve. Like I had that one rhyme for that first year. One whole year. That Easy. one year. I knew how to spit the shit out that That's bitch it. though, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then I wrote another verse. So then I had two raps for that year. Knew how to spit the shit out the bitches. You understand what I'm saying? So how, how, how was the responses? Like, where were you spitting the verses at? Like? I mean, just around my friends yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And how was they? How was they? Yeah, niggas was fucking with okay, it. You know what okay. I'm saying? Was it like, yo, this shit is dope, you gotta do it more, do it more? I don't even remember okay, all that. Okay. I, I just know that I was doing it, and by the, like, by the third year, I started writing, you know, verses and shit. You know, beatboxing with my mans and rhyming all in the hallway and did beating on the wall mm -hmm, and all mm -hmm, that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So how did how did you I mean were you were you supposed to do a solo career Mind first you, before you joined the group? I mean I always wanted a partner though. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like as a kid you want friends. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know I mean some kids are loners from the jump or whatever. I'm kind of a loner now. You know what I'm saying? But you know you just you you looking for you looking for friends. You looking to, you looking for something to fit in. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. 
So how, how did yeah? So how did that come about? You went showing price. How did y'all? Well, that was later. Like was you later. know what I'm saying? Okay. That was a little bit later. So you had you was part. You was MCU with other cats before that, like other. Not really. My first actual partner was a, was was my cousin. I could never find a partner. You know what I mean? I ran into. Understand? I just started. 11, first round, mm. 12, second mm. round, 13, got some rounds, mm -hmm. 14, I met Steel. Mm. Okay, that's when you met Steel. You from the buildings across the street. Right. So that kind of, you kind of brought y'all together, the bridge right. kind of, okay. You know what I'm saying? So so now, like. Steel was rapping at the time too? Right. Mm -hmm. we, me and Steel are actually the only two boot camp niggas that met because of rap. Because okay. I was rapping already, people were starting to know, and his uncle, who I knew mm -hmm. introduced us. You know what I'm saying? And so it's very much. I mean, it's very much possible you could have started a group. With another member of the boot camp click. Yeah, a lot. So at, at a that lot time, of, a lot of people from Cephalo. You know, they're, they're not a lot, but there are some people in Cephalo that old oh, that that run up on a nigga till this day. Be like, yo, Cephalo is my project, mm -hmm, by the way. Mm -hmm. They run up on me and be like, yo. Or in conversation, they be like, I don't know why you and Still never made a group. You know what I'm saying? It's like it, it just didn't make I, I don't know for it didn't look right to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Not only are me and Stale rappers, we both draw. And when a person can draw, what that means is you have a good perception mm. of how things are supposed mm. to look. Sure, or how sure. things look right. Yeah, yeah. How things look good, how mm -hmm. thing what things look off. You know what I'm saying? So we we never even considered being a group. It just Nah. Okay. Because y'all yeah, was vibing in a different way at the time. Is that is that kind of? Nah, we was like I said, we met on the strength of rap, and immediately the rap shit started with us. You know what I'm saying? And still had more of a. Uh, uh he had a more organized movement at the time mm -hmm. than I did. Okay. I looked at his movement and was like, my movement and like got Smith nothing. Smith and movement at that I, time. Was that was Smith way before. That was way before. Yeah. Okay. It's like I looked at his movement, I looked at my movement, I'm like, these niggas got shit going on. My movement, these niggas got jokes. I'm fucking with these <laughs> niggas. You understand what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so you brought yeah, so you brought the snacks and the jokes, and that's kind of uh, what was your big snacks at the time? What was the snacks? I mean, at? like I didn't, I didn't look like on this, at this point, like you know what I mean? Like, fuck shit. Look back at that at that time, it was wild, little Debbie and this, that, and the third. Mm, okay. But oh, yeah. I wasn't bringing the snacks back then. Uh, okay, yeah. Cause y'all was, wasn't touring. That wasn't that a tour wasn't, time. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, those necess, those 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 internal skills had mm. presented themselves yet. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, you know, it was a bunch of weed, booze, mm. and you know, turntables and microphones mm. and shit. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Still had a DJ that was actually nice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He had dances and shit. Still was solo at this time, or was yeah, he? Yeah, he was solo. He was more solo at the time. Okay. Yeah, he was solo. Matter of fact, still he was solo and he was part of a group. Mm. He had a partner, a dude by the name of Chase and shit. Shout out to him, wherever he at. He was chasing Steel when I first, when, when I first. Okay. You know that was saying? the name. Oh, that was chasing Steel. That was the name mm -hmm. of the group. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So, so boot camp click was kind of developing at the time. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing. If me and Steel would have just been a group, then boot camp would have never happened. Like that expansion and yeah, it would have never happened. Like me and Steel spoke about that one time. You know what I mean? Like it would have never unfolded. Like he wouldn't have I wouldn't have continued to look for a partner. Wouldn't have found Sean P. You understand what I'm saying? We could still get a rock steel album. I mean, we talk about you know, it all the today, time. You know, but son be friends. You know? He be friends. Be like, you know what I'm saying? We talk about it all the time. You know what I'm saying? And he just smile and shit, all handsome and shit. Fuck out of here, still. Let's rap. Let's get nigga. the album done. But, yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, fucking. So how did you get introduced to Sean Price? How did that come later? I on? mean, I, I already mean? knew him, but mm. I didn't know him. No okay. One yet. okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like I said. Like I said, all of a nothing. We, me and Still are the only ones who met on the strength of rap. Hip hop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it was on some, was on some street shit. You yeah. Mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, look, I just posted. I just posted yesterday, right? I'm going to read the post word for word what I posted. I think it was yesterday, right? Or the day before. This picture right here, mm -hmm. Blam, right? Yeah, yeah. Can the camera see this right yeah, here? Yeah, they can see, yeah, they can yeah. see that. They can see that. This dude right here, right? The, 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 the caption goes, story time with Rocco, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. When I got kicked out of my first high school, Lafayette High School, 
They put, oh, yeah, I saw that. They yeah, put yeah, me yeah. in the bottom of the barrel at school in Brooklyn. First of all, shit was in Brownsville. That's already bad. Then, the shit was called high school redirection. Yeah, not redirection, high school. The shit happened to be across the street from the junior high school I went to. The teachers in junior high school used to be like, you keep acting up, we gonna see, you gonna end up over there in that school over there with them niggas. And we would straighten the fuck up. These niggas had beds and shit over there. You know what I mean? And this was before the whole bed gang revolution. Mm -hmm. Shit was bad. Anyway, I landed in that school, in the homeroom with this fool here. Okay. This nigga is retarded. But for some reason, him and his boys rock with me though. And these are the niggas that led me straight to Ruck. These niggas just mm. happened to be Ruck's team. I mean, I knew Sean. We were kind of family, but not close though. I hadn't met Ruck yet, which is who I became friends with. Mm. Without this guy here, there would have been no health to scout. Wow. This is my man, T. White, a.k.a. Norton. And y'all should thank him. That's the picture you post, everybody should check it on your IG. Right, it's on my IG, Rockness BCC. It's verified, so you know it's the one. You know what I'm that's saying? That's a crazy story right there. So, and, that, and that's a recent picture. You still, yeah. you still know. Yeah, the, yeah. He was at. He was. We we hung out at the fucking Dura, at the Smith and Wesson show. It was a Smith and Wesson show recently. We, at, you know what I'm saying? At the Blue Note, we mm. went and did that. Nice. And he was there. That's the. That's that's a dope. I mean, the caption right there, and the story you tell it, and you say you got kicked out of Lafayette because I did see that. And I'm like Lafayette was a badass school as far as I know. You know what's and crazy this dude is though? Like Lafayette is good. You because... know what's crazy though? Lafayette back in New in like in New York back like, our high school applications yeah. was like college applications. Like you filled out to go see what I, I, they don't do that in some states. So that's why I'm, I'm you know I'm I'm detailing the mm -hmm, shit mm -hmm. like. When you get out of, when you was in the eighth grade, getting out of junior high school, you filled out high school applications and you chose exactly. mad schools, your ten top schools, or what you wanted exactly. to go to, yeah. like it was college, and whoever accepted you accepted you. And I, mean, I wasn't. By the time I look, I was a boy genius in elementary school. When I got the high school, girls got in the picture, the mm. shit, and and, and 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 whatever else, shit got shit, shit got whack, and mm -hmm. I got real extra regular, okay. real distracted. You understand what I'm saying? So, cause teenage, use teenage. Yeah. Whatever, so, yeah. so I'm just put like, you know, all right. I knew that I wanted. I, I, I knew that I was still smart. You know, whatever. Of course, my mother would have killed me if I didn't put the smartest fucking schools on the shit. Mm. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. those was my top choices. You know, but after those, I'm just. I'm not. You think I'm really sitting there reading the the the, fuck, the, the catalogs to all these schools? Exactly. Man, I'm yeah. picking the names that sound yeah, attractive yeah, to me. Yeah. And Lafayette sounded like Lexington <laughs> Avenue, like Madison like Avenue. Name, right? like, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? It just sounded like a street in fancy Manhattan exactly, to me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. So I chose Lafayette, and that's the only school that accepted my old regular ass. You understand what I'm saying? So when I go there, and that was probably like the that's last crazy. school on my list, right? Or whatever, but when I go there, I go there, that's this nigga car right there stealing my change, exactly. right? Exactly. When I go there, <laughs> when I go there, fucking, the, nigga, the niggas there like, yo, I don't understand why y'all come all the way from cross town mm. to go to this school. It's far, yeah, it is definitely. Yeah, yeah. and um, we like, what you mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? I came out here for computer science. <laughs> <laughs> niggas like, yo, this the niggas in Marlboro Projects, this was their zone That's their school. school. exactly. This exactly. is the school that they go to when exactly. nobody picked them. My boys went to Lafayette. As, as far as I knew, it was wasn't good, you know what I'm saying? Not I used to go to Dewey, so we used to pass all. by Lafayette. You went to Dewey? I went to Dewey. Oh, so you we lucky bastard. Exactly. I went to like, you know, the art, you know, it was more like let you out and shit. So many bitches. Hippie shit, that it's, too. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Story, dude. close to Coney Island, cutting class and all that shit. But we would pass Lafayette, my boys be going there, it's like, no, you don't want no trouble the, with nobody the, from Lafayette, the, just, the you know. chicks in Dewey were real, we like, like, it, it seemed like y'all only had 10 dudes. I am school. going the right way though, right? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hopefully. I think, we, I think we are, but yeah, okay. Nah, I went too far. That shit, that shit, that shit. Um. It's telling yeah, me to go back the other way now, yeah. We might have went super far. Yeah, we on our way to the Bronx, man. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Should have this shit up. Alright, we're good, we're good. We're Bronx, talking. nigga. <laughs> we're doing a five borough tour. Fuck it. 
Yo. Uh, we'll go back around. Nah, but um, we, 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 yeah. we, we, so we was talking about Lafayette and all that stuff. Yeah. So, so you got like, transferred to the other school. Yeah, they, they, and I went and I went out there and was bugging out in Lafayette, like you know what I'm saying. But I was a mediocre bugging in Lafayette because I was stealthy. You know what I'm saying. I was still kind of a good kid. And you were into the arts too, into drawing, music. Yeah, but so. I wasn't really wasn't like Lafayette didn't support that. You know what I'm saying? Like they have, they 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 had no interest in in in, in, in you know nurturing those talents. You know what I'm saying? And plus, that ain't what I signed up for. It might have been, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't that. I don't know. It wasn't that. Like like hip hop didn't rule the world yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah. It's like now they teaching hip hop in schools. True, true. They wasn't doing that back then, so. So it wasn't that, you couldn't relate to that time like that, right. the art of the music or whatever. Right, so I was just, you know, I, I, I went to Lafayette, you know, I, I had a mediocre ninth grade, um, a mediocre second year, but no, 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 no. I had a, a mediocre ninth grade and a, and a, a, and a moderately berserk second year. Okay. Moderately. So how long you was in Lafayette for two years? Three years. Three years. So it's three years, and then you got you went to transfer to the new school. Yeah. And that's how them dudes introduced you to Ruck. Right. Okay. Why did y'all go with the name Rock and Ruck? Was that was that decided together? My name together? was already Rock. Your name was already, name Rock, was was already Rock. Okay. So you was going by Rock at that time, mm -hmm. already. So my shit was going. My shit went from Jab Rock to JB Rock to just Rock. Well, it went from Jab Rock to JB Rock to the motherfucking Rock. Then just rock. And you also go by Rock and Monster. And yeah, that yeah, came yeah, later yeah. though. Big Rock too. You go by that yeah, too. Big rock, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so you end up linking up with Rock, Sean P, and mm -hmm. y'all decide y'all started talking about let's make music together. Or how did that? Not at first. Um, I didn't. I, I felt like you know like tact means a lot to me. And I ain't never wanted to be no corn, no new nigga in the situation going, yo, let's do this. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I just played my position to see how this is going to work out. Like, we're going to rock with each other and we're going to see what happens. Even though I knew f full, like wholeheartedly, that this nigga should probably be my partner. I had a partner at the time, but okay. my partner was a female. It's my cousin, she was dope. Oh, that's dope. Fucking beast, right? You know what I'm saying? I was like, we're gonna be dope, you know what I'm saying? She, you know what I'm saying? She's female. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. gonna be the first that. That's the first exactly, that, exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I can't think of any other group right. in the 90s who was like that. that right. It was like a visual group, you know? Right. Like, that went back and forth in the rhymes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she was also part of another group, which was the all girl group, you know what I mean? And she was doing all the writing mm -hmm. for the whole group and mm -hmm. shit. And it was like, you know, it was taking up too much of her. I ain't have her. Mm, you know understood. what I'm saying? She understood. wasn't available for, for our the solo or, or the other group. For yeah, yeah for our yeah, shit. Yeah. You know, what I mean, we, I mean, we tried. You know what I'm saying? We didn't just break up, but it was just what had happened was I got locked up, and when I got locked up, I got locked how, how up. In, we, I was 19. 19. I got locked okay. up in '92, and and um. While I was gone, she you know she just focused focused on what she was doing. Okay. Meanwhile, I spoke to Ruck. I would call Ruck once a month. I couldn't even talk. Ruck was so stupid. This nigga was so hilarious. Like you could, I, like I like just I couldn't call him more than I would call him once a month because my phone calls with him would be too disruptive. You understand what I'm saying? Like the nigga had you, you know, a nigga got you laughing out loud okay, for real, okay. not just typing the LOL. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. You laughing your fucking head off and you in a jail. You understand what I'm saying? I'm in a jail where I'm the youngest nigga in the jail. I'm the youngest nigga in this whole fucking building, right? I done managed to, uh, like, I, every nigga who was there when I was there, remember me, trust me. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm the youngest nigga there, but I'm not no wild nigga. I'm a smart nigga. I ain't no bitch nigga, and I'm, I'm not no loud nigga. I just got a, I just got a big voice, but I'm not a loud nigga. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not gonna be on the, I can't, I, I can't be on the phone with Ruck 
every day. I couldn't call him, but in the it, one because it'd be disruptive for it, you it, where you was locked up. Yeah, it's disruptive. Just, 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 dis, 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 yeah. <laughs> I ain't need that. I ain't need all that right yeah, there. Yeah. And one call was enough. Nigga had you, you know, you know the he, he the kind of funny where two days later you still laughing at the phone call. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So all I needed was that. So, well, I mean, what would he be telling you? Like a shit going on? Like shit what was going that? on? <laughs> it don't even. But but he don't even. He that nigga could just make fun of nothing. Like you know what I mean? Like shh. Was it the deli- Was it the delivery too? Like the it's, delivery it's of the lines? The delivery is everything. <laughs> Right, but at some point on one of those phone calls, we decided that when I got home, it was going to be Ruck and Ruck. So Ruck was still rapping at the time. Was he? Yeah, was he, he was rapping. He, yeah, Nick was fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. But he was doing a solo thing at the time. He had a partner he had too, a partner but his too. partner he wasn't. Too. You know, he was that wasn't working out yeah, for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So y'all told that's crazy. So you so so it's from jail from why you incarcerated when y'all decided to. Yeah. Create Helter Skelter? Yeah, we just didn't call it that. I understood, yeah. When did you end up calling it Helter Skelter? And uh, you know, a few, I guess a few months later after I came home. I don't, I don't remember. And that's a crazy name, too. It's like the Charles Manson shit, right? Yeah, Is that what Charles you're... Manson don't... <laughs> okay. the, Charles Manson took a word that he was... That, that's 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 a phrase that, that, that already existed. Understood, understood. You know and he just saying? took it and he made it... And twisted it yeah, into his... Yeah, to his own shit. But what did y'all mean when y'all made it? What, what was, like, when y'all first formed Rock and Rock? I mean, Helter Skelter, Skelter means utter confusion. Mm-hmm. Helter Skelter is what Charles Manson was afraid of. Mm-hmm. That's what he thought was going to happen or something. Right. Like, that's what he had to stop it or something. Yeah, and kill he people was afraid yeah. that the world was going to get turned upside down. Mm-hmm. And in his view, his opinion mm-hmm. of that was... A race war where at the end the blacks won. The world would be turned upside down. That's, that's a lot. That's what helped Skelton make. That's, that's, that's to what him. He, exactly. His crazy paranoid self was right. trying to instigate this shit too. Like supposedly when he killed those celebrities, he was trying to blame it on the Black Panther Party or something mm-hmm. like that. So the police would attack the Black Panther Party and then start a race war and whatever, you know, and things was going on in the sixties and seventies and all you know, I'm not don't know exactly years right now. Mm-hmm. With, with the man with Charles Manson or whatever, but that that helped us is some crazy shit. So y'all took yeah. the name was like we're gonna yeah. we're gonna I mean, and we knew all of that. Mm-hmm. Well, we knew we knew everything. I just told you we knew. You understand what I'm saying? One day <laughs> Ruck just walked up on me. He's like, yo, I got a new name for the group. I'm like, what? Help the skeleton. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 oh shit! What the fuck is that, man? <laughs> like, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> he told me. I was like, I he sounds good. good. <laughs> Let's roll. Uh, oh my god. Cause, yeah, because it, it, it's not. It doesn't sound like something you would expect a rap group to necessarily call themselves. Right. You know? Unless I see. I, yeah. I read a comment. Somebody was, was was showing us love, right, online somewhere, and somebody. Like one of that person's friends was like, I never heard of them. Are, are they horrorcore? <laughs> the shorty was like, mm, Nah, but they're kind of horrorcore adjacent. I'm mm. not like, Okay, I got, okay, got you. Yeah, because a name like that does sound like some group right. would be more into the horrorcore and shit. Right. So, so y'all ended up recording, releasing an album in '96. Is that when y'all released the first album, the yeah. Nocturnal, yeah. Uh, the Scout Up Picture Project. Like our first single, I believe, came out in like '95. Okay. Like, with the Fat Five and shit. I mean, that's a crazy hip hop era right there, 95, 96. All the classics was dropping then. Everything that we love now was from that, you know, from that era, at least most of the hip hop heads and shit. Yeah. So, how was the reception with the album dropping in 96? I mean, people loved it. I mean, I mean, how, how long was you incarcerated for before you came I out mean, of I mean, I was court? only locked up for about six months. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was long enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, and mind you, uh, Black Moon, who got the props was already out mm-hmm. at the time when yeah. I got locked up. I didn't meet Buckshot until after I came home. Okay. You know what I mean? So when you came home, was boot camp like more formed at the time? Was like got expanded a, a little bit? Nah, I was forming still. It was forming still. Like, if you listen to Into the Stage, I don't think you hear any mention of boot camp click. I don't think. Mm-hmm. You hear that on Smith and Wesson's The Shining. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because. You know, a lot of people, you know, 
Like we all give, we all give, we all give all the glory to my nigga still. You know what I mean? For all uh, being the basic, basically the creator of the boot camp. He was. You know what I mean? Um, like it all started with his movement. You know what I mean? I joined his movement. Okay. When it was just when he was the only one rapping. You know what I mean? Tech didn't rap yet. You know what I mean? But he had a he had a, a movement already. He had dancers, a DJ, hype men, a manager, all that yeah. shit. You understand what I'm saying? When I first, when I met him, that's oh, when he damn. had that already. He was 15 fucking years that's old. That's crazy. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, like, um, so, so it's like from that, from the, from the, from the moment me and Steel started rocking with each other, like I said earlier, if we would have just formed a group, then it wouldn't have been no boot camp. Happened. Like, yeah. I brought in Ruck. Mm -hmm. I also brought in Strang. I brought in Louisville. Still mm -hmm. brought in Tech. Okay. Still brought in Buckshot. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? One of the most valuable, most valuable pieces to the whole puzzle. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So when that happened, everybody, y'all was forming. You released the album at the time. Was y'all touring at the time? Like, like, how did was life totally different going from being a dude from Brownsville to being a rap group? I mean, it was, it was it was gradual because Buckshot was moving and he was taking steel and tap with him. And we would be home. You know, sharpening our swords. Mm -hmm. the, 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 that, this was how the Fab Five was birthed. Just because Helter Skelter and OGC would be together. You know what I'm saying? Times, okay. While Smith and Wesson was gone with Black Moon. And they would come back, we would be at, we'd be at the Dog Hill. That was Top Dog's crib. The Dog House, we would be over there. And when Steel and Tech and Buck and Five would get back, you know what I mean? They would come back, mad weed and mad bowls of cereal and shit. Mad, I mean, mad boxes of cereal mm -hmm. and milk and ice cubes, cause Buck liked his milk real cold. And okay, shit. <laughs> ice cubes, damn. Word. I never had it that way, baby. This nigga Buck is crazy, right? <laughs> but yeah, it'd be late night, niggas just when niggas be we be in the crib blacked out on the floor, they come home. Waking niggas up, kicking niggas in, mm -hmm. in the boots. Throwing bags at it. I ain't even know how to roll. I I always remember Buck. Buck was the cause Buck, <laughs> nigga Buck and Buck and Steel. No, Steel was my dude. Like certain dudes was not sympathetic to the fact that I didn't have, that I didn't know how to roll. Like yet. roll, like, like roll, like roll, or whatever. I didn't know how to roll. Okay, was like okay. like the nigga Steel would have you know like but like like Ruck jokes. But that's my boy. But jokes mm -hmm, still, mm -hmm, you know, it's a strange mm -hmm. jokes, like Tech. Even until today, they're still making jokes about it? I mean, I can rope No, I know, I know, I know but, some, but they bring it up once in a no, while. No, Tech like, was the worst. Me and Tech, me and Tech had friendship problems over me not knowing how to roll, right? Like, shit was crazy. Like, he's Like, you would roll it up in a canoe and all types so of I shit. I just couldn't it. roll it first, okay. like, you know what I'm saying? They was like, yo, he's like, how you smoke? Not only <laughs> do you smoke as much as you smoke, right? You know, and, and it's, I didn't get it back then. I mean, it's, it's not even that I didn't get it. I was just, you know, I just didn't want to get it back then. Like, I didn't know how to roll, but I would, I, like, I didn't have the right to be mad at Tech for being mad I got, at I me. Understood. Yeah, I got you. You understand what I'm saying? He had a point. He had a point. He had a point. You understand what I'm saying? But I didn't get because, like, not only do you smoke more, as much weed as me, right, but you big rock. That means you somebody. You understand what I'm saying? Like, how big rock of the boot camp spoke? Can't roll a L. Can't roll a L. <laughs> Be you big doofy. The fuck is wrong with you? You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, um, that would be our nights and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nick. Top Dog, one of his secret jobs is that nigga will put together a real deal healthy meal out of scraps. That nigga will wake you up with a bowl of what looks like slop. You just better be glad he woke you up. Eat it. You gonna love it. It was, wanna, it was actually good. Every time. You had a restaurant. <laughs> you had a restaurant. Niggas. Everything that niggas don't want, you want your cold floor, you take that. You don't want that? You don't want that pickle? You take that. Turn it to something later. Turn it. <laughs> <laughs> Five course gourmet meal and shit. <laughs> so yeah. Word up. Shit is crazy. Yeah. So at the time you dropped the album, the reception was good because y'all, 
I mean, Health of Skelter was fucking popping at the time. Yeah, it, was, I, 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 it never really felt like we was popping, popping. Okay. You know why? Because it was always other, you know, the, 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 the climate was crazy back then, you know? The competition was stiff. You know what I'm saying? So many different groups of solo yeah, acts. Yeah, there was, a lot, of, there was yeah. a lot of groups that was out there that was that was selling a lot of that was selling more records than okay, we were. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Whereas we might have had the same amount of love in Brooklyn and you know in our hometown, you know in the five boroughs and, and throughout the Eastern Seaboard or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like certain other dudes, you know, it, 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 it was it was levels to the shit. You understand what I'm saying? And, if you went gold or platinum, it was a little bit different than it was for you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you know, it's all good though. I definitely had fun. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean but I always but but I feel like that always that kept us grounded. Like okay. I got homeboys who've been working in the industry ever since. You know what I'm saying? They like, yo, I never met dudes as cool as y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? They like I deal with the, and these and some of these dudes be dudes that I respect. You know, these are the artists that I like and, and fuck with and all of that, they be like, yo, how do you do that? Like, this nigga's fucking crazy. I'm like, like, like they never met niggas like us because okay. till this day we remain humble. You and y'all still, I mean, y'all still dropping dope ass music too. It's not like, you know, some of the cats who maybe not releasing anything like they did back in the days. Everybody in, in, in the group, in the, in the crew was still dropping dope ass hip hop music. Well, not everybody. Okay. I mean, not like, everybody. OGC okay. ain't put out okay. no music okay. in okay. years, but right. you know okay. what I mean? Understood. Understood. I mean, but, yeah, yeah, but 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 overall, our flag is still in the in the in the in the, in the, in the hip hop ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That we're doing dope shit. So no, we ain't doing whack shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you released a project in September of last yeah, year. Yeah, Ruck, my, you might as well say we released a double album. We released our fucking who was that? Speaker box, speaker box, and the love below. Mm -hmm. Like his shit came out August eighth. Mine came out September twenty second. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back to back, so y'all. What I'm trying to say is that your fans, you're still blessing your fans all right. these years later. You Absolutely. know, it's not like we only can only listen to rock from 20, you know, 20 something years right. ago. We can still rock to your new shit. Right. And your new shit is dope as hell. You got that single track with the video, good weed, bitches and guns. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just want to make sure I said that right. Yes, sir. You shot the video. It's super dope. It's like in a bar scene, kind yeah, of mysterious. Yes, yes, and yes, yes, yes. What, what was? What, what was the name of the album? Is Rockness AP yeah. after Rockness Christ, after Christ, after Christ yeah. you know, Rock rest in peace. Sean Price passed away, and yeah. you dropped. That was your album after he had passed away. But it was also your really your first solo official album, yes. which is crazy. Yeah. That you know, 27 years later, and it's your yeah. official official solo. Yeah. You drop mixtapes or whatever, but this was a really official solo yeah, album. It almost feels like I've been bullshitting around this whole time. Like, did you even <laughs> like where's your solo album? Should have been whatever. So, hey, look, look, Roman Mushroom came out before Detox. I ain't mad. That, all right, that, exactly. That was, that was, that was, no doubt. No. <laughs> that was my measure still. So, you dropped the album September of last year. What was, so what, what is the, I mean, it's Rockness AP. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, the, the concept, you know, is Rockness After Price. It's like a, it's a dedication album to my boy, but it ain't all Sobby. I mean, I guess it's a Sobby song or, or, or one, one and a half on there, but, um, but it's bars, you understand what I'm saying? It's a tribute to help to scout the culture, which has always been, don't ever be the corny nigga on the song, even if it's you by yourself, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. It's just like, especially if it's you by yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, it's bars on the shit, but um, the way I wanted to do the, like the way I, I wanted to, I wanted to include dudes who, you know, it's, it's a fraternity of dudes who know what I've been through. And these are like, you know, dudes like, members of Wu-Tang or members of, of D12, you know what I mean? People Dudes who have been through, you know, people from legendary, mm -hmm. or not even to say legendary, mm -hmm. but just happen to be legendary, but yeah, people from legendary groups who lost a member in hip hop, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's a, you know, that's a fraternity you don't want to be a part of, but if you happen to be a part of it, then, you know, come fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, because I needed that at the time, you know what I'm saying, like, You so, did that camaraderie with the, yeah. with individuals who understand what you're going through right. at the moment, yeah, You know yeah. what I mean, so with that, we got my man Kanaba from D12, you okay. know, Okay, yeah, no, the future is crazy yeah, on the album, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. fucking, um, you know, shout out to Proof, you know what I mean, rest mm -hmm. in peace, rest in peace, Proof, mm -hmm. um, I got three members of the Wu-Tang yeah, on there, yeah. you know, R.I.P. O.D.B., 
Um, who else? I got my boy Young Noble on there. Okay. You know, rest in peace, exactly. Machiavelli, exactly. Gaddafi, exactly. Fatal Hussein. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, shit, if I could, I would have got every single member of that fraternity on the album. If I could, I would have had Mr. Cheeks on it. I would have even had a, like an Onyx member because they lost fucking X1. Like, X1 was my boy, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, Dr. Dre or any member from N.W.A. You understand what I'm saying? Dr. Dre too big. I could never get him on a song right now. Maybe, maybe I could have hustled. Maybe, maybe, maybe I could have got MC Ren. You understand what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay, MC yeah, Ren, yeah. shit. When N.W.A. first came out, MC Ren was my favorite member because mm -hmm. he seemed like the more lyrical one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, Q was a storyteller. Yeah. But Ren had them balls mm -hmm. to me. You know what I'm saying? Um. Shit like that, though. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, I'm happy you released the single, The Good Weed Bitches and, and Guns, guns yes. because it's not a feature track. It's just right. you alone right. showing up. Yeah, even though I got a lot of features on this, yeah. it's my I album. I, I raps. raps, exactly. Bars, motherfucker, and the video is dope. Even though it's like, it's you in the bar, it's shot beautifully. It's just something about it's captivating. Like, yo, this mm -hmm. dude's rap at the bar. It looks so yeah. dope. Why'd y'all shoot? The, how'd y'all decide to? Bars. Okay, makes sense now. Bars at a bar got you, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the song's good, weed, bitches, and guns. It was it was actually a smoking bar, like a mm. like a like a mm. smoking lounge we smoked okay. bitches in. Like a cigar? Yeah, type you know of what I'm shit? saying? Yeah. We were smoking, you know what I'm saying? We was doing our thing. Mm. But um Yeah, so we in there, you know, I, I feel like we needed more bitches, but you know, that's yeah, no, but it was still a it was a couple aspect. in there that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Because of the beat with your rhyme and your flow and everything, it's like you don't even care that there's you don't got that in the background, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, it's a couple in yeah. there. Yeah, it's a couple in there, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you always have more, but it's, that's, 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 that's not the, that's, it's, it's that's cool. The, it's, yeah. it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It ain't crazy. Nah, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, um, they're not, then, you know, there's the Shine Down video. I don't know if you, you know what I'm saying, if you saw that one. But that's featuring my man, Kofi Black. So that was the second that's video the drop? Second that was the second video drop from yeah. that project? Yeah, um, we got more videos on the way from okay. that. We're actually about to drop one on the next Monster Monday available. Nice. You what I'm Can you announce which track it is? Yeah, it's, 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 it's just rap. It's just the, rap. It's the intro yeah. song on the album. I think that's the most bar heavy song mm. on, on the album. Like, I was, I'm, I'm so impressed with the shit I said on that album, on, on that song. On that right track, there. yeah. Whoa. Are you planning on releasing more videos too, besides this third one? Like, mm -hmm. how, like, you play? Because yeah. you got a lot. I mean, that album has a lot of songs on yeah. it, and yeah. you know, so many dope videos can be done yeah. with the track. So. Yeah. Yes, I am. I am. Absolutely. And I mean, I know the reception has been great because that video I saw you post it, other people post it. When I post it, so many people hit me with the comments like, yo, this shit is dope, this shit is dope. I love yeah. this, thank you, yo, yeah, Rock is the, killing all it. Of the, all of the media outlets and publications that I've stumbled across have all said good things about mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to keep it 100. Like a lot of the dudes that, you know, a lot of the dudes that I used to listen to that were my friend, I listen to them and I don't love it no mm -hmm. more. You understand what I'm saying? And that's, I mean, for whatever, I don't know why. I don't. It's not a diss to them. It's, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not the same. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. I mean, I mean, I do, but you know, I just appreciate the fact that people still listen to my shit and are still able to say and mean it when they say, "Yo, Lee, you, how the fuck are you still getting better?" Mm. You understand exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, man. The flow, and I mean, you, and you always had your, your your voice and your style and your flow, which is rock this monster. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody could tell that's you, you on the mic mm -hmm. now. You know, so that was your that was your. Can you see yourself being in another group again, or do you see yourself pursuing as a solo artist I from mean, now I, on? I mean, me and, that's, that was the thing, like with me and P, like we was both solo artists that were just afraid to fly solo. You know, we were young and we were looking for a comrade, but that's what that's what makes us the best duo ever. Cause we were born to be solo. You understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. It was too much talent to stuff in the group. Mm, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like anytime me and P, any any room P is in, he's the biggest personality in the room. Any room I'm in, I'm the biggest personality in the room. Sometimes I hide it though. Okay. That's the only, that's the difference. So that could be good for a group when you have two amazing MCs, or it could be a negative, you're saying, sometimes? You know what I'm saying? It was super good. It was so good that, I mean, you couldn't go wrong with it. You true, know what I'm saying? True, like, yeah. 
Like, we knew what mattered when it came to being dope. You know what I'm saying? We knew how to be dope, period. You know what I'm saying? Whether we did back and forth raps or whether we did, look, son, I'ma only rhyme once on this song. You go. You understand what I'm saying? We, like we we just we knew if it was gonna be dope. If it was gotcha, yeah. look, we did one song in our whole history of existence where we went, yo. Erase that shit. <laughs> just one time? Do you remember why? Can you say why? Do you remember? No. <laughs> okay. No, I remember. I remember. Oh, no, but you can't say why. Okay. <laughs> no, it was whack. It was terrible. It was whack. I, exactly. I remember okay. why. I thought you said, do you remember a line? I'm like, yeah, no, I remember, no, I like, yeah. but I won't say. It was terrible. We, we didn't like it. But mm -hmm. that's the thing. Like, we wouldn't. that shit wouldn't make it out the studio. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to drop whack shit. Well, you know it's, what I'm saying? It's not going to exactly. happen. So where can people check you out before we get into this freestyle session? We're on our way to the city to meet my man, the pastry chef, who's made a special pastry dish for rock. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll... Special pastry dish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you know perfect because you was you said you was snack. You know you snack, was snack king. king. Get JFK. You know Junk food <laughs> king. Man, you talk about it. So you said so you so in Europe on the tours, you would be the one they would come to the yeah. trust. Like yo, pick out you which would one. Wake me up off the fucking out mm -hmm. the van, yo, rock. No, I'm saying. What you know, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Boogers in my eyes. <laughs> nah, I don't fuck with those, son. How would you know? Because you tried those. them? Because you no. tried them? Or you just no. know you could tell? Like I with this experience? I could tell. They don't fuck with that shit. That shit is, don't taste too good. This shit right here. Yeah. So where, where in Europe, and, like which, 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 where's your favorite snacks? Which, which? I think, I think Switzerland and Amsterdam. Mm. Mm. Okay. Amsterdam, got it. Switzerland had these cookies. I I think they stopped making them shits. I ain't seen them in a while, so that's kind of taking them out the running. Amsterdam. Oof. That was the best right there. And you could and it was and you could blaze too at the same time. Yeah. So I mean legally, so it makes it, it makes it more enjoyable and shit. Yeah. So you you know we about to hop in the tunnel. You down to get into this freestyle shit? Freestyle drive. We about to get into the freestyle session. Got my man Rockness Monster, rock hip hop legend right here in the car with me from Brooklyn, Brownsville. Helter Skelter, y'all motherfuckers know already, I don't gotta tell y'all, so make sure you check out his last project, Rockness AP, that's Rockness After Price, he dropped two videos, he got a third one coming out soon for y'all, hopefully it will be out around the same time as this interview, you know what I'm saying, and uh, you can check him out on IG, Rockness BCC, yep. uh, on Instagram, we about to get into this hip hop, you ready Rock? Yeah, I got Alright, yeah, welcome to New York, got my man Rock, BCC, yeah. Hip hop, yeah. yeah. I chose this beat for a specific reason, bro. It's called Welcome in New York City. Mm -hmm. But the, the originators, the, the dudes who did the original version, they gave you a, a, a more classy, a, mm. a money paid, beautiful version of the city. Yeah. I'm here to give you the gritty version. Now, Welcome to New York City. city. Yeah. Rockness monster. Uh, delegator, but demolition ain't no demonics. My dudes just dirty. No Diana, damage your dominance. Fast learner, every atom a sketch. Flash burner, visibly see the volume increase to a blast turner. Ooh. Smack smirk off a scrap for free. Nat Turner, a uh, Mac black burst in your back. It's a rap earth, uh, I rap murder for that bad cash earner. Swing a rock, but not in a trap. But you crack serve. Listen. Who's that creeping through my window? I will shoot the shit out of brother man from the fifth floor. Ben rock for cause in the panic at the disco. Had him shaking that pay and turn that bitch into a strip show. Wow. Shit, though. No Cisco, no Calypso. Y'all them blue bitch apocalypto. But Brownsville will be spit so, skit so. Mike a rip phone check. What, what, one, two, one, two's my zip code. Bitch, no. You ain't with those shits, no. Not really. Me and my nigga so lactose intolerant me then. With bout guns, you not one of us. No interviews in a few minutes. Introduce you to hot ones. Ain't no hot wings, but you got wings on your back and the doc not bringing you back. Thinking yeah. of asking me, is my rap real? I think you a rat, nigga. I could bring you a Mac, but I ain't a pinto. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Rock, rock this monster. That shit was crazy. Welcome to Welcome New York City. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to, to New York, York City. Telling you the, the real side of New York, not that gentrified shit that y'all know about, <laughs> not that old Brooklyn shit. Welcome to New, New York, York Gritty. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to, to New, New York, York Gritty. Gritty. Yeah, rock. It's our real hip hop right here. We're gonna give y'all one more. You down for one more? 
I got some more. Bro. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm waiting till the slight changes. So we can, you know, drop around a little bit. You got the water, you good. Mm -hmm. All right. That shit was New York City. I'm um, getting to this next instrumental. Some classic for y'all. Got my man Rock. Yeah, over 20 years in the game. He dropped his first album in 96, and he's still blessing y'all with dope hip hop. His last project last year, rocking this AP. It's that little pause right there, right? Oh, yeah, that little I said, I said, words by Jovi. Nigga, we halfway there. You can clap right here. Your life's a dream in this morning. Wake up. Kick yourself straight up, MC Hammer. Brownsville D sets and beef, blam ya. Trigger cons and get shit popped up. We spammers. Show you fuckers more flashes of light than three cameras, but uh, these ain't no cameras, no, but these cannons. <laughs> oh, fuck I'm gonna do it again. Let it, let it play, let it play, let it play, let it play. Fuck that, let it play. It's a real shit, hold on. Yeah, yeah. I was messing up, hold on, I got you, I got you, check out. I, I said, what is Bon Jovi? Nigga, we halfway there. You living on the prig and clap right there. Listen, your life's a dream in this morning. Wake up, translation. Kick yourself straight up. MC Hammer. Brownsville D sets and beef blam. Yeah. Trick a car, take a shit popped up. We spammers. Show you fuckers more flashes of light than three cameras. But uh, these ain't no cameras, no. But these cannons, yes. Yes. You ain't no thugger, no bully, really. To me, it's clear, you booty. Hugs the pussy. None of you rookies even on my radar. So sloppy, so not me. So Jimmy Hoffa, no Body, huh? So rocky, my bitch, code name Adrian. With a dime nickel plate of 10 millimeters, she played a wet. Bust the lead, uh huh. Bust your head, y'all's a bunch of necro. Philly acts, niggas fucking dead. Money making bitch in the whip with A flustered fed. Exactly what he said. Nigga, I ain't stuttered yet. I could introduce you to middle of year that was a threat. Whether I met my baby brother or the scared, you should be worried. Eulogies, you could be buried. Goons got. And flurries, dude, shit is scary. Listen, <laughs> truth is a very hard thing to swallow. The truth is, niggas better leave me alone like a bank borrow. Bang hollows out that thing to that thing hollow. Bang models over cheap champagne bottles. Cheap shit, for real. I'm fucking with y'all. Let me get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm made to rock. Rock this monster. Yeah, rock. Hip hop legend with me on Freestyle Drive. I'm Lebanese Ether. Make sure you check out all my previous episodes on freestyledrive.com. Thank you, my man, Rock. Again, where can people check you out online? Where's the um, best places? Well, I'm addicted to Instagram, so rock Miss BCC. Like the rest of us, yeah. On IG. <laughs> I got, got a website, though. Okay. It's um, rockmissmonster.com. Rockmissmonster.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also got a band camp. Rockmiss.band. You know what? Go to my Facebook. And you'll find everything Rock on a there. Facebook, yeah. and, you get, and you get the band camp link on there. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm just out, I'm not hard to find. Got just you, know, you know what I'm saying? The website, rockmissmonster.com, uh, the, the, the Facebook. Just search your name, you'll find it all. Just search you know my name and you will find me. It and ain't that tricky. It's going to be in my description too. So IG, sure you... IG is rockmissbcc. And, and yeah, and, and hit me up. You know, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I raps, I host. You know what I'm saying? I do hooks. All of that. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and and I raps. You understand? We got shirts and shit. You know. We Yo, the shirts saying. are crazy. I, like, I really like you know the shirts you make with the with the with the album with the cover jump off. Yeah, like the different yeah, those, designs. Like the yeah, different. Those, those are the classics. Yeah, official, right there. Those, official. those are the classics. But we got the. You know what I'm saying? For the for the the, the, the simpler ones too. Nice. You know, for niggas who, who might feel like, like this. the regular tea yeah, instead of all the art, with all the artwork of, everywhere. You might yeah, not yeah. want your shirt. You not you might not want to wear a painting. Mm -hmm. You understand know what I'm saying today? <laughs> that's that's so, what it look like. We look like stuff. Exactly. Yeah, like shit is nice. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But those shirts is the shit. Like they sublimated. They don't shrink. Mm. They don't wrinkle, big. Okay. Like they don't. You know what I'm saying? Shit is dope. They don't fade, wrinkle, none of that shit. So. No doubt, no doubt. So they can all find all that all, yeah, on your, on all your website? That, all of that. You go go to my website, get all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Go to my Facebook, and it'll take you to my band camp, mm -hmm. where, you could, where you can find Rock of Health the Skelter on Facebook. You can find all that shit. Rockness BCC on IG, mm -hmm. and Rockness Monster on motherfucking rocknessmonster.com. Mm -hmm. right, Perfect. Rock on. We about to take a little break. Then we're gonna meet my man Culinary, some snacks, culinary Harassment, who's making a special snack for my man Rock today. Culinary Harassment. That's his name. Yeah, that's what his a name. He's an artistic chef and all that. So we'll be back. All right. 
What's going on, my man? Yeah, yeah, come through to the back, yo. Yo, what's going on? Yeah, my man. Get comfortable, yeah. What's up? What's, what's up? going on? My man, culinary harassment. This, this is a new for freestyle that's a great, drive. That's a yes, great fucking name right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Culinary he harassment. He got a special dessert for us. It's a new segment of freestyle drive that we're going to be bring to you here and there a couple of episodes. You know what I'm saying? My man got his time to. I'm the first? You the first, man. You the first. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, Yo, before, you, before you show us, tell okay. us a little about yourself. Your name is Culinary Harassment. You're a pastry chef. You're yes. a hip hop fan. You know, Absolutely. Fanatic. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. Man, like, I, I came here when I was 14 in the States. Came from Bosnia. So, I, I lived in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and uh, I started picking up a little bit off of, you know, friends that I was hanging out with about rap and shit. Okay. Um, the funny thing is, a friend of mine from high school, Sean, uh, he was picking up mixtapes. There was only one place you can get at Harrisburg. Like an actual mixtape and some CDs and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I remember uh, getting, a, getting some stuff from OGC and I remember hearing your voice. Mm -hmm. and your voice was so deep, and I was like, "I was like, who the fuck is this?" And that that kind of like made me made me really like kind of like pay attention more to rap, mm -hmm. the okay. artists. It okay. really made me kind of like you know, made me listen. So before that, was some of the, that was some of the first hip hop you listened to. Yeah, yeah. I used to I used to be like uh, I used to just nod my head to the beat, but. He actually like when I heard your shit, I was like, I started listening that to the words more. Yeah. And then and then and then when I was like, you know, like this, and then you pay attention to it. Those were the days, nineties, gotcha. man, when, you, like, when, when the rhymes mattered. Exactly, you know what I mean? exactly. Glad I could do that for you. you yeah. Know, but to me, you know, I mean, I love all the hip hop, but in my opinion, I think like the the words we, and you know, like I think it's the I think it's the dopest because we actually get to give you the message. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we get to say to you exactly. what all the rest of us have been feeling and True. shit. You know? Yeah. That's a that's a big deal. No and, and the, the thing is like, you know, I I come from, you know, former Yugoslavia. I'm from mm -hmm. Bosnia. Mm -hmm. So I came here as a refugee and shit. So so because of the war situation. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah. I was able to connect with with you know underprivileged. Mm -hmm. And that's that that was my entry into the hip hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so when I when I hear stories from from, you know, your neck of the woods I, I can't say that I can relate, but I can identify. Right. You know what I mean? So th th there's a whole lot of... You can relate to a lot of it, you know? Yeah. You know, we all have different experiences from different struggles, with different backgrounds. Yeah. But that's kind of what you were saying, was that your words, you was feeding us that even on an international level, people can relate, right. you know? And that's how hip-hop is right. internationally now. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe in the, in the 90s, it was getting there, it was still slow, mm -hmm. but now it's... Everybody loves hip hop all over the world. Yeah. But when you was in Bosnia, you never heard hip hop in Bosnia. It was more when you came to the United States. No, I mean like I, I like the earliest fucking things that I've heard was like you know, it, it was mainstream. I, MC Hammer type gotcha. of shit. You know what gotcha. I'm saying? Okay. But but um, you know there, there was no uh, Public Enemy was the only thing mm -hmm. that was like that was you know. I had a chance to meet fucking uh, uh, Chuck D too oh, years, nice. years ago. Yeah, nice. okay. so that was that was kind of a big deal to me too. You got know you, what I mean? Got you. Got you. It's still a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It still is. Um, Cause so, when I told you Rock was gonna be on the show, you were like, "Oh shit, yeah. I know it. I've been listening to his shit." But for that's you. the thing. I was in high school, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. some people, y'all you know, be honest with you. You live in New York, right? Mm -hmm. You see all the celebrities walking. I, I don't, I don't bet nine mm -hmm. that You know what I'm saying? Like where I work at, they they come around a lot. Yeah. yeah. But when you have somebody who who had some sort of an impact in your life, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of the fucking uh, level of mm -hmm. it, it's just, it's, it's, it's uh, Shit, that's a no big deal to me. Like, I mean, think about it. Of all of the hip hop, like, I mean, like, I just told you what made me start listening to, like, you know what I'm saying? It was UTFO Fat exactly, Boys that did exactly, it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Made that impact on me. That made me really start listening to lyrics and listening to hip hop and rap. And then shortly after that, I started rapping. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, that shit changed my life, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, for me to be the conduit to anybody, like, yeah. you know, I started listening. You know, I listened to it a little, little bit, but when I heard this nigga, I yeah, started yeah. listening. That's like, a big deal. Yeah, 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 no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, and then we're like, you know, and like, you know, because you do art with the, with the culinary stuff. So yeah. when you kind of reach mm -hmm. out to me, I'm like, yo, let's mix this hip hop culinary, you know, with the yeah. show, because you know, the hip hop based show was dope. Mm -hmm. So you, I mean, what you, you do like, Baked goods with hip hop themes. Like, can you talk about that a little? I bit? I mean, like, you know, I started off years ago because, like, you know, I, I have love for hip hop. You know what I'm saying I consider myself hip hop, but but it's uh, you know, I, I, showed, I showed you some pictures. Yeah, I yeah. Did. I, I, I was telling Rock about the yeah. B.I.G. joined yeah, the yeah, Crown and yeah. Yeah. So so I've I've, I've kind of like you know I don't I don't necessarily make a cake that that you it's know the Wu Tang joint. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 But I tried to, I draw I draw references out of my life and and how how that group or or individual has affected me in a way, like even even to this day, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, 
so I kind of like you know I, I kind of it's not really a play it, it kinda, it's kind of I, I, I can't tell you like you know what I'm saying okay. like I kind of I kind of pick who I want to you know understood yeah and yeah. then just fucking and I exp- kind of like it's what you rock with it's what it's, it's what kinda, inspires it's like, you when you when you when you hear a beat right mm-hmm. you 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 don't necessarily know what you're gonna write about right mm-hmm. but then when you fucking start writing then you know you know when it's done like oh this is it right. So it's kind of the same thing with, mm-hmm. with, when I do desserts. I don't mm-hmm. really, I don't really have a grand design. Got you. you know, the grand design is when it's done. Mm-hmm. So in the process, in yeah, the making, absolutely, and then, yeah. So what do you got for us today? Yeah, I'm about to say this because it's perfect. Because yeah. Brock is monster. He's a he's a snack food king. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm big, yo, they call me JFK. Oh, JFK, my junk food king. Junk food king. So when yeah. he was on tour in Europe, he would tell him all the different spots what's the good shit to oh, get. Like, so, so, so you don't buy something like don't taste too good, you know? Yeah, like I would pick them <laughs> off off eye, like the eye test. Like I never tasted them snacks before. And I, and I picked the right one. Yo, this is so That's dope right up. here. This is so dope. Culinary right. harassment. Middle of work with his pastry. Woo! Wow. wow. So that that, what, that right what, there is uh, what Little is, Rock. Yeah. So uh, what, what is this right here? Tell us. Uh, it's uh, a yeah, coconut pineapple cake. Oh, my God. Coconut with the, pineapple cake. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. With, yeah. The, with the passion fruit cream. Yo, he won. Got Beautiful. The, Yo, he that. won with that because because he told me. Cause he told me it was some chocolate shit, right? Here. I thought it was yeah. chocolate raspberry. What you I told did, me, I was what wrong. I didn't, <laughs> you were, I, I didn't say that. Yeah, no, oh, my but, bad. <laughs> what I didn't tell him is that I'm not really a chocolate guy. Okay, yeah. all right. You understand what I'm saying? So the only chocolate there is nah, that's dope. It's no, the outside. That's dope. It's the outside. No, when not. I saw the chocolate, I was like, I assumed it was chocolate, no, but I the inside that. is all different ingredients. Yeah, all, yeah. No, and then on the bottom, you got a hazelnut crunch layer. All right. Let's get into this rock. Wait a second. Yeah, right. Let's do it. Let's do it. The whole cake. Every videotape at the same time. We about to get it. This turned into a cookie show. This turned into a Bravo show. (laughs) Yo, I got um, I got two more in the back over here for you guys. If you guys, beautiful. Want to share with somebody later, or if you want to, I might want to take home from one. You might take home. Hold up, man. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. We probably don't know this. Man, like you got us beefy coming in right here. It's tomorrow. True that. True that. It's all. It's all for the honor. It's all for the honor. It's my bad. You know what I'm saying? Can't be free to eat. We about to. We about to get into this right now. It's gonna contribute to a great night tonight. This is. This is. Get to take two of these home. What? Look at this consistency. Oh my god. Yeah. For the win. Delicious. That's what's up. That's what's Tell me up. the flavors again. Tell me the flavors again. Uh, coconut mm. pineapple cake with the, the pineapple. Yeah. The pineapple with the, with the passion fruit. That's Crazy. what it takes into the passion fruit. Hell's yeah. This is amazing. I felt bad. I feel bad breaking into it. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. You told me that earlier. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like a work of art right here. It's like, it's like a rock. Exactly. Like a rock. Like rock. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It fit the theme. Yup. Yup. This is beautiful. That's what's up. This is really good, man. Yep. I know sometimes in cooking shows like you gotta take a second and be like, you gotta give your responses and stuff, but this is too good. I'm like, fuck y'all, fuck the audience right now. I'm enjoying this right now. Turn the cameras off. Exactly, right? Let's turn it off. Real fast, where can people check you out online? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Instagram at culinary harassment. Culinary harassment. Why'd you pick yeah. that name for anyway? Because even Rock was asking, like, what's up? That's a dope ass name. What's up? Where'd you um, get that from? Because you know, he's a gangster. Mm. <laughs> it's like, you know, I, I like what I do, but I don't necessarily like the industry I'm in. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know, I, I really can be as creative as I want to be. You know what I mean? I get, I get handcuffed a lot. So it's like, mm. this is this is my opportunity to, to, to do me and be me. You know what I'm saying? This is dope, man. I love this. Consider the fact that you're the first one, you know what I'm saying, trying this. It's just like, man. No. I'm so happy it worked out. Because I picked them up in Brownsville, yo. I'm like, damn, this dude's restaurant's all the way in Midtown. I hope Rock got time for me to come through. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> Usually I do the interview in the neighborhood and drop the artists back up because they got other things. But Rock was like, nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a junk food king. You That's know? what's up. Because I don't make up. time for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, when you told me that, he might not be, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got asking for it. I was like, ah, oh, man. I have to make sure it worked out yeah, with the yeah. schedule. You, you, you ain't need the gold balls on top, pause. Oh, no, I didn't, but I'm, I'm about to right now. Gold balls. Pause. Pause. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? What is the what is the crunchy top? Of? It's it's like it's a it's like a wafer. Mm, so good. And it's like a wafer on the bottom too, like a little circular wafer. That yeah, yeah, that's the thing that, that with the hazelnut. Nice. Yeah. This is a. And you tell me that you you mess with all natural ingredients. You try to mess with it as yeah, much yeah, as possible. Yeah, like, especially like you know like like things like this. Like I I try to buy the, the, the best, I mean the best ingredients give you the best product. Mm. You know what I mean? And in instances like this, like I don't, I don't like to cheat. You know what I mean? This is beautiful. This is delicious. I'm sorry for eating on the show, whatever. It's a hip hop show. Fuck that, exactly. 
I'm sorry y'all can't try this, but y'all can hit up my man Culinary Harassment. He bakes soup. Just check out his page. He got mad good. It's mad but, artistic, and it's just delicious. There's certain things me and Ruck would never do when he was alive. Like, I would never mention the name of the group before Health the Scout. Before the name we had was Wack. We, I wouldn't mention it when we was mm. alive. When he was alive, I ain't gonna mention it now that, now that they're gone. Another thing we never used to do was eat on camera. But fuck okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a new era right now. Fuck That's that. Thank you, my man, Culinary Harassment again. Absolutely. People check you out online. Culinary Harassment. They can hit you up for special. Yeah, I appreciate you. Like you bake for like fun. personal special stuff, or is just on your arts? No, they, they, can, they can hit me up. We can collaborate on things. They can, you know, okay. if you want, to, want me to make something for them. Mm, that hazelnut was bad. At, yeah. at the end of the day, Sorry, you know, it's, I, I, it's my design. It's my, my, my thing. You can pretty much tell me, like, what flavors you want. You know what I mean? But I, I don't do that, like, oh, can you make me a cake that looks like such and such? That's, I, I don't do that. So that'll be, you, you feel yeah, it. You, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're the artist. That, that, that's the authenticity of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that, that's that's that, art, that, man. Yeah. That's how artists, look, come on, B. At, at the end of the day. You don't tell a DJ what records you want to hear. Exactly. They never play out. Exactly. They never play it. No doubt. You niggas be in the club all the time asking the DJ to play whatever you want to play. Go to the DJ's IG and see how many posts they have shitting on you for request. <laughs> they never play it. They never play it. They got memes for you yeah. niggas. So true. All that they, shit. they never play it, God. I'm telling you. I, I run with beat miners. You understand what I'm saying? I know mad mm. DJs, B. They never play it. Not He's never going to make. Exactly. This is not McDonald's. This Ooh. is something different. You understand uh, what I'm saying? This ain't fast food. This is this is culinary art. No doubt. It's a difference. No doubt. That's a dope, dope cosign from Rockness himself. Word up. Culinary Rest. Thank you, my Yo, brother. Appreciate you being on the show. We're gonna have you on the future episodes too. You know what I'm saying? Work it out. Cool, cool, Come through cool. to the city when, when we can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Have you on with the big goods. It's a surprise. This is amazing right here. Delicious. Happy Rock. Enjoyed it. You, know, you can too, tell. Man. You can tell. It's gone. It's Word done. Up. I'm, I'm going to wait till the camera's off to finish, you know, whatever. <laughs> Again, Culinary Harassment Online. Uh, uh, Rockness, BCC yes, on IG. Rocknessmonster.com for yes, the website, sir. for everything else. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Peace. Right. Peace out.